thinking of becoming they advise to become resellers of their content uh-huh. advertisements okay. pages paid ads so can we start now okay you start with a poster uh-huh. showing now so you guys can it's not online yet. Yeah. Delay 10 seconds. Let me just see. So yeah, same uh, with me. There's nothing. Yeah. People talking, let me put some likes, me on sir. <laughs> okay. Okay? Okay. Ah, uh, she turn off the volume on that. Oh, okay. Okay, done. <coughs> Hello everyone and good afternoon. Today with us we have Mr. Nazruf. In our 11th episode of Vspire Labs Facebook Live interview series, Vspire Labs, we aspire to inspire your startup journey and also equip you with the necessary knowledge to succeed. Okay, without further ado, let's invite Mr. Nazruf, who is CEO and founder of Bill Place, to introduce himself. Hi guys, hi, hi everyone. My name is Nazruf. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm the CEO and founder of Bill Place. Uh, okay. We founded uh, 7-Eleven 2012. That's an easy number. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven 2012. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got funded by Mathcap, the biggest VC in Malaysia, uh, in April 2015. Uh, together with Finance Startups, a US Pirate based startups. Uh, Finance Startups, okay. a US based seed fund. Uh-huh. Uh, they're next door actually. Right. Uh, so we have been uh, in the market for two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yes. Right. Uh, so primarily, what we do is basically we help merchants get paid fastest at the lowest cost possible. So help merchants get paid. So faster? essentially, you can call us a payment gateway. You can call us an authorized collection agent. But a bottom line, agent. yeah. But bottom line, uh-huh. uh, we are a payment uh, software that merchant use to collect payment from okay. the marketplace. Okay. Before that, could you like tell us about yourself, like where you come from, and what were you doing before this? So a bit about myself. Um, I'm. I, I studied in uh, in Sheffield University. Mm-hmm. What were uh, you studying there? Uh, accounting and financial management. Wow. Okay. So that's that's where I get uh, a taste of uh, the financial world. All right. right. Uh, after that, uh, did my professional halfway. 
Okay. Decided that, uh, yeah, decided that uh, being a qualified accountant is not for me. Uh huh. Right. Um, I, I, I why, why do you say so? Like, damn. I have a hard time um, uh, reconciling uh, my priorities at that uh, at that moment in time. Right. Um, so it took too much of your commitment. Uh, so I, I, I don't have uh, the time or the need uh, uh, to do that at that moment in time. Okay. So I decided to just go straight uh, into uh, the corporate world, uh, All right. move from GLC to GLC. Uh -huh. uh, but the most important GLC is Post Malaysia. Uh, Post Malaysia. So that's where basically um, the, the idea, the seed of Bill Place, uh, that's where Bill Place was conceived. Uh, Why? In post Malaysia. So when, when I was in post Malaysia, uh, I was in the inter international business. Okay. So one thing that we do there is basically uh, we we look at uh, what other postal operators are doing, mm -hmm. right? Especially the big boys, the the Dutch Post, the China Post, the USPS, right? Mm -hmm. And the common theme among them is always about electronic bill presentment and payment, EBPP. Electronic right? bill presentment and, and payment. payment, right? So basically, essentially, that is just uh, Maybank plus Post Malaysia online, hundred okay. percent, right? So uh, that's I a fancy word. To so everything you get online, but you get your uh, statement online. Uh, you mm -hmm. get to pay online. Pay right? online, and then so together with that, they're tracking. So Maybank to you start off with just uh, being able uh, allowing ca customers to pay online, but you still need to wait for the postman to come to your house. You know to 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 deliver the the statements, yes. right? So EBPP was was the future, end to end, everything online. Uh, so I I I did a uh, working paper on it. I got three CEOs in two years. Suffice to say that uh, nothing moved. Uh, oh, so okay. so I decided to take it out, right? Like n people actually came to support you, but you couldn't do anything. No, no. Um, so so um, I I. It's not my place to comment on, on, on why things don't move fast there. Mm -hmm. I have my personal, uh, re, uh, you know, personal uh, suspicion. But it is what it is. Okay. Uh, being an entrepreneur, you mm -hmm. shouldn't uh, allow uh, external factors to, to stop you. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just have to move forward. So uh, I decide to quit my job, uh, uh, take it uh, private. Okay. Um, so I, 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 I met my best friend. Uh, Emir, which is also the co-founder of Bill Place. Emir. Uh, okay. So together we 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 scheme a plan to <laughs> uh, to uh, get uh, money, <laughs> right? Uh, right. Um, so so we got a grant from uh, all sorts of places like like Cradle One, uh, oh. CIP One Fifty. We got from Mynik. Uh, we got from so uh, family and friends. Uh, yeah. So so. Um, yeah, so so we, we managed to come up with a prototype. This was uh, in uh, like I think four years back, right? four, four years, years the, back. the early the early stage of Bill Place. Say 2012. Yeah. So okay. So after that. Okay. Yeah. So so uh, yeah. Prior to us being uh, an incorporated uh, company. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we got uh, basically a break. Uh, with a relatively big merchant, uh, a preschool, uh, with seven thousand parents, seven thousand bills per month. I see. Uh, that got us on uh, Mathcap's uh, radar, so to speak. So um, they call us up. Um, we. It took a while, though. So, so it, it took a while. Um, you know, because mm -hmm. they they never they, they never invest at seed round because that's where we were at that mm -hmm. point. Uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, so what happened was it was uh, it took a, them a long time to digest, uh, and then April twenty fifteen they they decided that it, in fact Bill Place I was told was the first that they go at uh, directly they Math approached Cap, the biggest VC in Malaysia, mm. Malaysia go direct at the yes. seed round. Uh -huh. uh, I was told also they want to buy us at a very very cheap valuation. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and we don't care because this is math cap you're talking about we don't care okay. uh, they have been a, a, a brilliant partner uh, to us okay. uh, up to this point uh, we love them 
I, I, I would think that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> uh, if they're still with you, then I guess right. that it's mutual. Uh, so, but having said that, of course, now we have grown tremendously uh, by multiple X uh, uh-huh. in terms of revenue multiples. Um, so we, uh, in fact, we, we are, are pretty um, uh, selective in terms of our Series A. Uh-huh. Uh, there are many VCs that are coming all the way from uh, Singapore, that, but we decided that you know if we, because because VCs uh, are like uh, are like your your spouse in a way, right? <laughs> because they need because they will always need to know what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> right? is, it, is it profitable right? for them for you to kind of like your wife or your husband, right? Okay. So so. You, you want to find the right quote unquote uh, spouse, mm-hmm. uh, not any Tom, Dick, and Harry, uh-huh. right? Uh, Someone you, you, you can get you along with. Yeah, you don't want to be a, what funding slut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. If that's how you want to put it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so we 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 are pretty selective now. Even though mm-hmm. we we are uh, uh, have interest to raise our Series A. But I think ECF is, is the way to go moving forward. Economic crowdfunding. No, no. Uh, equity sorry, equity crowd, crowdfunding. Equity crowdfunding. Sorry, yes. Yeah, so, equity. so I think I think ECF is the way to go, and, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we are, we are heading towards that direction. All right. So you're laying your tracks for your Series A now. Yes. Okay. So I think you have most probably uh, via ECF. Via ECF. So have you already like? Uh, Prospected a few platforms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, of course. Locally or uh, overseas? Oh, of course, it's local. It's always uh, local with us. Okay. Uh, okay. We, we we believe uh, Malaysia boleh. Malaysia boleh. All right. All right, uh, all right. So yeah, we 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 love Malaysia. Uh-huh. This is where tanah tumpah darahku, right? Uh, so you see, the the thing is, uh, back in the uh, 14th century 15th century uh-huh. right uh, wow. so malaysia you're going like is back is the best place ever to trade right yes uh, that's why the kesultanan melayu melaka mm-hmm. right so so, so everyone meets here uh-huh. well not here let's say mean, down melaka right but the point is it's it's a beautiful place right right, right. so so uh, i always have that uh, uh, that personal urge to really focus on Malaysia first mm-hmm. uh, before we even think the about outside overseas because mm-hmm. okay, there's so much uh, to do here right and the and I think the as, mar- as far as payment is concerned and market penetration is still quite low right there's so uh, much uh, more yeah, yeah you can say that yeah in terms of uh, uh, online payment penetration uh-huh. yeah you can say that so uh, I just want to put a do. disclaimer out there that I'm talking specifically about payment, right? Online uh-huh. payment. Online payment. Right? I'm not talking about AI or robotics or, you know. Only online that's, payment. That's, of course, is not happening here in Malaysia, right? Okay. I just want to be very specific. Robotics still quite yeah. bad. So, and whatever he speaks is only from his point of view. Yes. Does not represent anyone else. You are correct. Okay. So, can we go into our topic for today? Yes, let's do it. And our topic for today is how financial technology or fintech is affecting or will affect us in our daily lives <coughs> okay Nazrof, uh, could you share with us like what do you mean by financial technology and what was previously done and what's happening right now and what will be tomorrow's fintech okay so firstly i, I always uh, think that fintech is is just a a random word uh-huh. that the media cooked up. Yes, to make it to hype it up. To hype it up to exactly. sell more uh, publications. F- definitely. So fintech has always been there, uh-huh. always been there. Um, you know, from the point of uh, you know we start the butter system, right? Then we <laughs> move on to coins, then coins. papers, then plastic, uh-huh. then online. So f- technology has always been, been there. there. From the day one, sector. right? Right. It's just that nobody thought of a, thought of calling it fintech, right? Uh-huh. So it's always been there. Um, so I, I I I always see what I'm doing now mm. as just the next evolution, All right? right? Mm. Uh, which I will uh, explain more in detail uh, mm. as we go on. So it doesn't matter whether you want to call it fintech or whether you want to call it startup, whatever. You want, our objective is simple to make money to, make to increase money. Uh, the the value of our shareholders yes. right 
and, and how we do that is basically based on our models and, uh -huh. and so on, right? Yeah, and your model is yep. a payment, online payment, okay. online payment. Yep. So, um, so if 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 you ask me, um, how fintech will affect your life? It will affect greatly. Uh -huh. right? Just simple uh, stuff like uh, how you used to pay for your credit cards or your loans or your friends, okay. right? Okay. You used to go to CDM uh, because, uh, because online mm -hmm. uh, IBFT or uh, IBG is just transfer. too expensive. Uh -huh. It's too ringgit a pop, right? Yes. Uh, now it's just 10 cents. Mm -hmm. Some banks are even giving it uh, for free. Yes. Right? So, so that basic example itself mm -hmm. shows you that uh, uh, financial technology can really, really help you uh, in your life. If even an ATM or a CDM because is you, also... You, because do you know that how many people get robbed when they go to CDM right, actually, at night? Yes. Yeah. Uh, especially in Sungai Bulu. I know mm. for a fact because mm. my wife used to work at one of the banks there. Uh -huh. People get slashed. Uh, really? Okay. Like they, they get slashed by a long parang yeah, when they go to the CDM. So with IBFT at 50 cent, IBG at 10 Safe cent, right? it's a no-brainer. Uh -huh. It's a no-brainer, mm -hmm. right? It, and you do it right from your home or yeah. your phone. Or your phone, yeah. Uh -huh. So that's one very simple example of how fintech, uh, financial technology, mm -hmm. uh, help us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so one thing is like it saves time, as you said, like you don't have to go to a machine to pay it. And another thing, as you're saving time, you're also saving costs, your fuel costs. Yeah, parking costs, yeah, things exactly. like that. So, do you think like in the future we don't have to move as much anymore? Or so, so what the way I see it, um, in my lifetime, mm -hmm. banks it will still be there. A physical bank, a physical branch will still be there. They will consolidate uh -huh. in terms of volume, uh -huh. but they will still be there. So, the, you right? mean the bigger brands are like. Uh, but but what they, they what they will what they will serve is something else. They won't serve um, over the counter bill payment. Okay. They will serve a uh, more refined so uh, insurance scheme, for example. Possible. Right. Or like uh, more refined uh, loans. Right. More uh, creative. Um, Financings. Short term financing, okay. right? They they will be more uh, focusing on uh, personal banking, maybe. Uh, I, 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 I would think that personal banking will go away. It go, you just do it because on because uh, AI will take over. Uh -huh. uh, chatbots will take over. Okay. And and serve uh, the consumer. All right. Uh, on on okay. those basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Like what are the basic stuff that you ask? Normally, I would. Look what is my balance? What is my balance? Yes. What is my credit limit? Right? Those can <coughs> be served by chatbots, right? Right, right. So, so, but but like insurance, especially with the new uh, uh, insurance scheme, mm -hmm. right? Uh, banks need to know a whole bunch of your details. Okay. Right? Uh, before they can issue the right premium to you. Uh huh. So that's so that's same a whole thing also for auto insurance. They're yep. looking at your driving behavior and things like that yeah. to give a dynamic code. So. So yeah, I, I I wouldn't say bank will will, will disappear in my lifetime, uh, assuming I got like a good fifty year, fifty years more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> possible, highly possible. So b banking is changing. Yeah, they are uh, changing. Definitely. Banking is changing. What else is changing? Let's say as a merchant, let's say I'm a coffee shop owner. So uh, as you can see, uh, this place in fact, this place is shopping mall. Yes. Right? We are in Glow Damansara. We are in Glow Damansara, but if you walk mm -hmm. in Glow Damansara, it's <coughs> basically a ghost town, right? It's, it's, so why is that? <laughs> uh, the fact of the matter is that um, there is not much re retails anymore. Yes, retailers, online not retails. Because uh, clearly, everyone is going online. Yes. Um, you see a massive jump. Like uh, the last number was what? Uh, Five percent of Malaysia GDP. It's from uh, e-commerce. It's from e-commerce. Okay. Can you imagine five percent? And this is the result. Uh -huh. Can you imagine if it's ten percent, fifteen, yes. twenty percent? Yes. Right. So, uh, land owners uh, like this mm -hmm. uh, 
now are approaching startups, technology companies. Yes. That's why you see the first blockchain company in Malaysia uh, mm -hmm. is going to open downstairs. Uh, which right? one is it? Uh, it's called blockchain, uh, NEM, 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 block yep, okay. NEM blockchain. Uh -huh. uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly. So they're coming in. So they're from uh, Australia, uh, Asia okay. Pacific. Right. Right. They, they right. will be the first uh, blockchain hub uh, wow. in, in uh, ASEAN. Okay. Uh, they also part of fintech then yeah they are uh -huh. they are all right so okay e-commerce has taken over sales retailers okay. so let's say i'm an existing uh like a chain let's say old town copy tm or something how can i adapt for these changes so you, you have to be on demand right? on demand meaning so you have to have uh on demand uh, service for your customers uh -huh. to select your to buy your uh -huh. uh, items. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so say for example, like um, you know, there's there's a lot of providers out there like uh, Zepto Express, Zepto, GoGet, yes. uh -huh. you know, all providing on-demand service, uh -huh. on-demand deliveries, deliveries uh, of food, drinks, whatever, right? Uh, that that hookups uh, to 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 merchants' inventory. So you, you you you. Basically, need to go to your customer moving forward. Let you cannot expect them to come to uh, you right. anymore. Yes, like if you can see that people are not visiting malls anymore, and you open your restaurant in a mall, yep. you have to like take this into account. Yep. How to you have to go and see your customers. Yeah. So for that, you would probably need. So um, it's a no-brainer. Like if you do a simple math, right? Let's uh -huh. say if you have an F&B outlet, uh -huh. you need hundred visitors okay. to break even that month, okay. right? Hundred visitors, mm. and uh, you know, for a fact mm -hmm. that only ten percent, two hundred that comes into the uh -huh. main entrance uh -huh. of that mall. Then you have to be by the entrance. So, are you saying that you confidently 50%. can get fifty percent? No, it's impossible. Impossible. Right? Probably five percent. So, if you say it's five percent, then uh -huh. boom, instantly uh -huh. you're not going to break even. Nope. Right. Uh -huh. So, so th those are the basic math that that you have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, if if, if you're you talking about FND, people's walking. So, in. so that's why uh, on demand uh, is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to embrace that. Uh -huh. um, you know. One thing they are actually thinking about is the cost of delivery. Yeah. Let's say it's going to take firing it for delivery. Who's going to absorb it? Because I don't want to actually pay higher. You, you, you will be surprised. You'll uh -huh. be surprised. So, so then we talk about target market, right? Uh -huh. uh, who are your target markets? Uh -huh. uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, because in the end of the day, there, there, are three, there are only three types of market in this world. Only three, types. You, three types. You can fit any business okay. in this world uh -huh. in these three markets. What so others? one we have premium, premium, markets. right? So these are basically your uh, uh, your LVs, your Louis Vuitton, uh, your Teslas. Oh okay. well, Tesla. Tesla is well, okay. Tesla's, Tesla's not a, a premium uh, uh, now. It okay. was back then, mm -hmm. right? So uh, then you okay, have. I get, uh, I get what you So saying. so then premium. you have uh, the mass market. Mass market, right? Yeah. Like so Nike. This, this, so this is everyone's. Okay. Right? You wanna shoot? You wanna grab everyone? And then there's the niche market. Niche market. Right. So, so this premium, is the oil and gas, you know, niche. stuff like that. Okay. So you want to determine what is your target market then? Who is my right? bias? So if so. my target, if I'm an F and B, uh -huh. and my target market is those that got drunk the night before, uh -huh. <laughs> right? Okay. Because they party all night all right. and they cannot go out That's the morning how Uber after. That's was found actually. Right? <laughs> so guess what? Uh -huh. They are willing to pay 5 ringgit because uh -huh. the, you know the, the hangover they is just too much. Over. Yeah, But I still need to eat my breakfast, my uh -huh. lunch. So guess what? I'm going to flip out uh, Food Panda yes, for example. Food Panda, pay right? the 5 bucks. Yeah, pay the 5 it. bucks. Uh -huh. I just want to get this sort of out. Right. So, so yeah, so that, 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 that hmm. 5 ringgit will be burdened by, by your target market. So you need to find out who is your target market and are they willing to fork out the extra yeah. for Okay, um, this is like more towards logistics. How do you integrate your services into this kind of, uh, let's say, sellers, salesmen, or retailers? Okay. So how, do, how do you come and help them? So um, th th there's three pillars in e-commerce, oh, right? Okay. So so that's wow. so that's your marketplace 
<coughs> your marketplace okay. is where you sell your merchandise. Marketplace. This okay. the marketplace is the Lazada, the Eleventh right. Street, uh -huh. the Amazon, mm -hmm. right? And then you have the second pillar, which is payment. This is Market where payment marketplace payment. Uh -huh. This is where bill place function. Okay. Right. This is where I pay, mall pay, EJHL, Senang All pay right. functions. Uh, right. Visa. Visa master. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. And the third one. And the third one is fulfillment. This is where Post Laju, okay. uh, this Zapto. is where Zapto Express, uh, okay. Go Get, right, uh, functions. So, uh, marketplace. marketplace, payment, payment and then fulfillment, right? Okay. So, y you have to be very specific mm -hmm. in what, in where you are. If you, if you say mm -hmm. you are an e-commerce player, mm -hmm. where are you? All right. Are you in a marketplace, payment so or fulfillment? So they need to identify what are yep. they actually doing. So some go some some go crazy, like they mm -hmm. go all three. I want everything. I want everything. They are uh -huh. they are greedy busted, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they are the sluts. <laughs> they are the sluts, right? <laughs> okay. So so these are the Amazons, uh -huh. right? But they are good kind of crazy. Okay. They they are the brilliant kind of crazy, right? Okay. So so they control all three, right? Uh -huh. I think Lazada is going that way as well. Lazada, right? Alibaba is also yeah, obviously yeah. because because uh, Alibaba uh, mm -hmm. bought them. Of course, uh, they uh -huh. have that drive as well. Uh, but for bill place, uh, we 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 want to focus on on uh, just payment. Payment. Uh, it's not that we are not crazy enough. It's mm -hmm. just that we don't have enough money. It's it's not <laughs> the time yet. Maybe it's not. Maybe. Yeah, it's not. Maybe the time yet. Uh -huh. Right. So our focus is just on payment. So what we do is we partner with with uh, fulfillment players, for example. We partner with marketplaces, okay. for example, right? So you're the middleman now, uh, in between. I, I, we are all middlemen. We are all middlemen, right? From teachers to parents, right? If mm. I'm a parent, I'm the middleman uh, to produce good for the nation, offspring uh. for the uh, for the nation, yes. right? For society. Wow, for all of us are middlemen. Damn. Right? And then there are people trying to remove the middlemen. Right? <laughs> All of us are, are, are middlemen. Uh -huh. so, so let's just get this straight, right? Everyone's a middleman. All, everyone's a middleman. Whether, uh -huh. whether you are a productive middleman or uh, not, not, that's entirely uh, a different uh, are you story. Are someone downline? The marketplace will kill you. Uh -huh. Right? The m yes. That's the beauty of the marketplace. The, the marketplace will kill you if you're not being productive enough. Right. right? Someone else will take over. Someone will automatically will, mm -hmm. will wipe you. Will, so, uh, so, so, so that's that's uh, that's that. Okay. So wha what's the? <laughs> okay, you as Bill, please, or uh, someone in similarly. Right. What are the like? How do you incorporate fintech into a marketplace and a fulfillment center? Okay. So, so there's this current partnership that we're doing now with one of the on-demand delivery. Uh huh. Uh, so, so basically, we we want to bundle everything under one price right you you pay one price you get payment you get delivery oh right? so like shipping everything included yeah exactly uh -huh. so so that's one way uh, how to integrate uh, the three pillars together okay so uh, sorry if like let's say someone doesn't understand normally someone as you say 10 cents for IBFT separately and 5.99 for shipping separately you're going to combine them both yeah yeah, that, that's uh -huh. one example. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. So you put a one bill towards which the buyer or the seller. No, we deal only with the with the sellers. merchant. With the merchants. Okay. We never deal with with consumers. All right. So it's going to be a one payment then. Yeah. It simplifies the merchant's yeah. job as well. Exactly. Separate separate bills, separate accounts. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, besides that, how how would you be able to help? Maybe simplify my life. Your life as a as merchant, a, as a buyer, sorry, uh, as a consumer, as a consumer. Uh, um, so, uh, w what we believe in is uh, more payment method is always better. More payment methods. Uh, so, so, so giving you choices. Yeah, giving giving consumers choices. So, uh -huh. we we start off with online banking. Online banking. Uh, we, we are simply the best for online banking. There, there's there's no other like bill place for online banking. Why uh, do you say so, so? So I can say that because uh, mm -hmm. of two things: our uh -huh. fee structure and also our settlement period, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so our, our fee is uh, the lowest in the market, okay. and our settlement is the fastest. 
uh, right? So, so you, you, you start off with one ringgit fifty cent mm -hmm. per payment received. Uh -huh. That's it. One Flat ringgit per fifty cent per payment received. Yeah. That's it. Regardless of the value of your bill, okay, whether good. it's hundred ringgit or a thousand uh, or ten thousand, it doesn't ringgit. matter. It's just one ringgit fifty cent uh -huh. per payment received. Meaning it's on success basis. You we make received. money, then only we make money. Okay. Nothing more. All right. right? And then it goes down all the way to one ringgit for right? higher, higher if 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 you do certain things right okay. um, basically if you reload more uh, so we function just like uh, xpex or hotlink right okay. you need to pay prepaid. reload okay. x amount of credit like even for grab and uber you buy credit exactly everywhere. exactly so uh -huh. it's very common for businesses these days uh -huh. uh, to understand the concept of credit Mm -hmm. And then uh, in terms of settlement, we do next day settlement. Next day settlement. So if your okay. customer pay you on Monday, uh -huh. you get paid on Tuesday. All right. So like, how do you differ from let's say from Maybank to you or CMB Clicks? So uh, again, like uh, we are payment method agnostic. Payment mm. method agnostic. Agnostic. Uh, meaning that we do not believe in any single payment method there, there's not any single payment uh, method that we uh, that's where the word agnostic that, comes that, from there's okay. no one payment method okay. right yeah, right <laughs> right <coughs> so you're offering choices yeah so you're so so uh, we also partner with paypal uh, uh -huh. we partner with uh, this other payment gateway called 2c2p okay we're gonna have another two three down the line uh, this year mm -hmm. so it's up to the merchant to decide hey i want this i want this i don't want that i don't want this uh -huh. it's up to you Okay. Right. From our point of view, you are king. Mm -hmm. Merchant is, is king. Uh -huh. um, so or queen, whichever you go, whichever way you go. Right. All right. <laughs> so that's that's a bit of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh -huh. So yeah, they they decide uh, what what to uh, uh, what which payment method they they want. So they choose. Yeah. All right. So growing from this current scenario, how would you expand or uh, what do you foresee that you can Bill, please, a uh, US representing Bill, please, grow the financial technology sector, like finance tech, fintech. So we we are we are a first and foremost a software company. Software company. Okay. We are a software company. Uh huh. We will never ever touch anything hardware. Hardware meaning, like okay. example, like uh, so yeah, like Ampos or point of sale system or POS, whatever, right? Okay. So. Anything to do with hardware? No, but Flat you out, can no. collaborate with them, giving your yeah, software. Yeah, of course, of course, uh -huh. of course. That's 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 uh, that's without saying. Uh -huh. right? Collaboration is is uh, that's that's the other thing. Like like uh, competition is for losers. That that's our belief, which Com we will touch later. Collaboration uh, is better. Yeah, collaboration uh -huh. it's always always better. Uh -huh. Competitions is for losers. Are for losers. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. I support that. <laughs> so. Uh, back to me. Uh, <coughs> so we we are payment agnostic. Mm -hmm. uh, merchant decide what payment method uh, they want to mm -hmm. use, and, and then uh, how we differ with other players is ba basically that's it. Because we are agnostic, mm -hmm. you decide. Like you if you want decide. Maybank to you, guess mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. We have Maybank to you, but we also have CIB Clicks. We uh, also have okay. Iraq yet, uh -huh. Afin Bank, uh -huh. Hong Bank, or whatever, right? So they get to choose. Yeah, because in the end of the day, mm -hmm. payment methods uh, are like roads to your shop. You can take any road. The yeah. more roads you have, uh -huh. the better you are. You're connected to more a wide wider market. You are correct. A wider audience. All right. Um, <coughs> how would it? Let's say you said bots will come in, AI will come in. Will robots also in be included in this system? Because they move for hardware so, thing, right? So, we. So I I I I find it useless to to foresee what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, so so just imagine this. Like, mm. did did you imagine that you will have a computer uh -huh. in your pocket more powerful than the computer they use to send men to the moon? Actually, right? no. Uh, and 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 it's not. It's it's it's. It's a, it's within a span of 10 years, right? Ten years, yes. The first iPhone was 2007, mm -hmm. right? Now it's 2017. 17. Can you imagine the, the advancement? It's, it's, it's just mind boggling, though. Right? True. So I, I find it useless to, uh, to, to foresee the future because you don't have the access anyway 
to all the the genius labs out there right so let you, them do you, their jobs yeah, you wouldn't know what's happening in darpa for example uh, right defense uh, yeah, thing. whatever labs okay. uh, that are doing uh, mm -hmm. crazy research mm -hmm. so what's the point right so uh, the way i see it okay. as ceo of build place i have mm -hmm. only three things to do what is right number one uh -huh. Uh, to set the bi business principles uh -huh. and the goals. So you have already set up your business principles and your yep. principles. and goals, right? Uh -huh. Principles and goals. This is very important. Uh -huh. uh, and then number two is to find brilliant, brilliant team members uh -huh. to pursue those goals. Uh -huh. right? Help you in your goals. Right. So. And then number three is uh -huh. to get the funding to pay those people. Obviously, <laughs> right? All right. So that day in day day uh -huh. out. Uh, th those are just the, th the three things that, that I focus on. I don't care about what's happening out uh, uh, five uh -huh. years down the line uh -huh. or even <laughs> next month. I don't care. Uh, right. I don't care even uh, when WhatsApp going to release their business API. Yes. When they do, okay. guess, you know what? We'll incorporate that. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, it, it's, 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 it's going to be it's going to be a deal breaker. Like, like WhatsApp uh, payments. All SMS gateway will uh -huh. shut down. Right, right. Uh -huh. Because they are uh, they, they are very uh, reliable anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facebook payments almost going to come up as well, right? Uh, in messenger payment. Oh yeah, it's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. So like, you concentrate on what's happening right now, right? Like you can see it happening. You don't think too yeah, far. Yeah, it's, it's it's just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. So who would be the ones who are actually involved in that, or like let them do their job? I'll so what for I'll like, like the future thinkers? Oh, let let I'm like the, do that. Let let, uh, um, let let magic do that. Uh, yeah. It's not my job. It's not, actually, it's you have like actually in your first statement that I want the principles and goals. You have already defined like let them do your job. Yeah. I'm gonna grow my yeah, company. exactly. Could you like actually share like for our viewers what would be like? a decent goal for people like, like uh, someone who's just starting up like, what should be in online payment what or like in e-commerce what should be his like principles so w the the principle for build is uh, we have to be fair our tagline is fair payment software fair payment so we are a software company first mm -hmm. and foremost uh -huh. focusing in the payment fa space uh -huh. but one thing mm -hmm. one thing that will always set us apart right be it in our code base, uh -huh. be it in our SOP, uh -huh. be it in our services, uh -huh. it's always our, our focus to be fair. We have to okay. be fair in everything we do. That will translate in how, how what the kind of pricing that we will offer, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of settlement speed we will offer, okay. um, etc. Right? So let's say, but I'm so paying you one flat rate, right? Yeah. How does it, how does fairness come into that? Uh, so you have to compare that with the rest. Okay. When so comparing, you'll find out. Yeah. Oh. So so again, I don't care what what others are doing. Uh -huh. It is not my place to uh, to speak on their behalf. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, it's all boils down to that three things that I need to do day in day out. Uh -huh. Right. What's your principles and principles, goals? Hire the right talent. Hire the right get talent. Get funding to do all this. Yeah. Make sure you get <laughs> your yeah. your if paying. Not, if not, your talents will leave you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. Exactly. So. Uh, but getting funding to do that also means that you're already making money or finding outside funding. So, oh, so now we are touching ECF. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm already sold with the concept of ECF, mm -hmm. uh, equity crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a brilliant way to to raise your seed and your Series A, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, as you go higher, you cannot do that. Uh, simply because there's no liquidity in the uh -huh. uh, crowdfunding uh -huh. uh, market. Uh, that's where you need to go and see uh, oh bigger VCs, uh, VCs right? Mm. Um, IPO, so on. IPA is one of the choices as well. Yeah. You have ideas to go to ICO? Uh, no, sorry, IPO. IPO, oh no, that's, that's a long way off. No, no, no that's, that's, that's a long, long way off. A long, long way. Yeah. How big do you need to be to like look at even start thinking about IPOs? So so right now, uh, I, I would say that uh, we are about 5% of the market share. Okay. Uh, in terms of total, total uh, volume and value process, mm -hmm. uh, the, the number one is 60%. 60%. Uh, 
Now the number one is sixty yeah. percent. Yeah, it's like so far. Yeah, up so I'm, I'm just talking about Malaysia, right? Because okay, that's where wow. we we operate in. Uh, uh, so we we have a long way to go, mm -hmm. um, and definitely we are we are not uh, looking uh, at IPO. Okay, alright. Now, so because we are Series A, you're going to Series A and Series yeah. B, most probably with Asia. So coming back here, like you said, that uh, so. Are there people who are not affected by fintech these days? No, no. Uh, so, so fintech is is is. One thing about about uh, good about uh, that the term fintech is mm -hmm. is basically now we can focus on what is the the greatest equalizer for financial inclusivity. Inclusivity, okay. Right, um, uh, financial literacy. Uh -huh. uh, financial awareness, whatever you want to call it, okay. right? right? It's it's gonna be uh, the equalizer. So because what is because it? because What's because, the equalizer? because bear in mind that uh -huh. the one percent are 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 good, right? <laughs> they do not need a single help no, from the government, be. right? Uh -huh. uh, think back, uh, come back uh, to that fundamental example: the IBG and IBFT. Mm -hmm. Before it's two ringgit, now it's ten cent, ten right? Cents, okay. So. Uh, the one percent, mm -hmm. you know, don't mind paying that. Yes, right? it's nothing. Uh, but someone that's earning three thousand two mm -hmm. ringgit is something a lot. Therefore, I'm willing to raise. I'm willing to raise and go to the CDM uh, mm -hmm. at night, mm -hmm. right? To pay my rent a thousand oh, ringgit, it's, it's regardless way. whether you know there's probability that uh, me uh -huh. getting robbed. Now, that's one again a very good example how fintech equalize. Okay. The ability uh, to, to, to transact in the marketplace. So everyone gets now a everyone is safe. Uh -huh. Right? A everyone can pay from the comfort of their home. Mm -hmm. Everyone can pay from the comfort of, uh, of using their smartphone. Right? right? It's right. equalized. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so now there's so many other things that we need to equalize as well. Like for example, funding. Okay. Right? Now we have ECF. Uh -huh. Before, I, I've only, I'm at the mercy of VCs. Right. I'm at the mercy of uh, fat cats that, that uh -huh. uh, will know that they are at the advantage, advantage right? Yes. That they can they get uh, the value me less uh -huh. than what I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be valued on. Mm. So that's the beauty of fintech. It's uh, the greatest equalizer uh -huh. for this world. Regardless, so because in the end of the day, everyone will, will yeah, you know, you transact. You right? get to, you, you get to use uh, Regardless it. whether you're, you're, you're a blue collar, white collar, it doesn't matter. He, right? he gets a chance, but it's up to him to use it or not. Yeah. So, uh, even ECF is a fintech, right? It is, of course it is. ECF yeah. is a fintech. So, like, um, because, because prior uh, to, to the internet era, mm -hmm. right, how do you hook up high net worth individuals? Uh, right. They, they call uh, it equity. How, how do you? Asset minus liability. How do you? How do you like? There, there's there, there's no social element. So hence uh -huh. why the timing is not uh, right. right. So it's more of like hard call assets only. Yep. Yeah, okay. He got like four houses. He's rich. Those kind of things. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so if there's are there any questions? Anyone watching? You want to drop in a question? Go ahead. Uh, you can comment on our uh, live show, live video. I don't think there's any uh, yeah, questions here. Probably they, they are out for, for brunch. I think <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday afternoon anyway. <laughs> Actually, we have more viewers later when we share out our videos mm -hmm. and more people view, view it later on. Sometimes they just click the save, save post, they view it later. Mm -hmm. right, uh, if you still have questions, you can write it down. We'll try to tag you, or we'll see if it's a common question. We'll try to answer it ourselves. And if there's like something to let our viewers think about, or uh, a take-home point from this sharing session about financial technology, what would it be? So, uh, I would say that Malaysia is going uh, towards the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we are not crazy in banning certain things banning banning certain things okay. and, and let the market itself decide okay yeah, because we 
the, the, the education needs to start at school education on what education on uh, financial literacy financial literacy uh, so, so that should start at school but uh, they're not doing uh, it right uh, now uh, they're not uh-huh. and again I, I, it's not my place to, to, okay. to answer why uh-huh. it's not uh, but it's not happening end mm-hmm. of story right it's uh-huh. not happening go fix it you know that's, but it's not my job uh, so it should start there and then let the market grows okay um, itself let the market right uh, so so uh, sc bank negara or whatever uh-huh. they 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 are they are, they are they they are playing um, a, a rather uh, good job okay uh, but i think they kind of late at, at not banning anything not uh, banning i, I want to focus on just that not banning anything not banning like, okay like not banning ico because t- uh-huh. to be frank like you, china you, just did that. because to be frank you cannot uh huh so what happened was on Monday they they say they're gonna ban ICO. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the cryptocurrency crashed twenty yes. percent, and guess what happened three days later? It, came it goes up back. It came back up. because you cannot do anything. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, China so does that. Japan goes and says like I let it happen. Yeah, uh-huh. it, it cannot do anything, mm-hmm. right? Uh, th- that's the beauty of uh, internet. That's the beauty of uh, blockchain. It's so decentralized. W- if would you like recommend our viewers like get into uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, no, I, 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 I cannot say that. Uh-huh. I cannot. Uh, I am not a, a financial. Okay. Uh, uh, uh-huh. What do you call it? A uh, financial certified uh, planner. All right. But, but all I can say is I have bitcoins. Uh-huh. I have bitcoins. Okay. Right. Uh, I love it. You love it. Do you trade it or use it as an investment tool only? Uh, well, I'm, I'm experimenting with a few things. Okay. Let's just put it that way. So that's also fintech for you. <laughs> uh, so if like, let's say something else, like something other way of online payment pops out, how would you adapt to it? Uh, again, we are agnostic. Okay, let uh, it happen. Uh, because we, we will integrate them. Integrate them. Because again, go interview 100 business owners mm-hmm. and ask them to uh, integrate uh, with our API mm-hmm. or or our uh, or others SDK and they will go blank, okay. right? So it's our job mm-hmm. to help them. Okay. Okay. That's one question right now from Harish. He said, "Is there any possibility that the traditional financial switch be replaced by any other technology? What's a traditional financial switch?" So uh, I think what he's uh, referring to is uh, VisaNet. Um, FPX, uh, that, that's the local uh, switch uh, mm-hmm. for online banking in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yes. And uh, so, what would the like? So uh, we it will be uh, replaced, uh, like any other thing in, in, in life. It the old will get cha- uh, replaced will by get the new. Uh, the more efficient, the more cost ef- uh, effective. What were the drawbacks of the previous? Uh, right slide? now, uh-huh. there's there's always a middleman, uh, a unproductive middleman. Uh, which I, 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 I again, okay, it's not my place. Anyone. Yeah, which is not not my place to name. Uh-huh. But it's, they are unproductive. Um, mm-hmm. Bill place can easily do their job, uh, okay. given the right uh, uh, opportunity, the right authorization. Uh-huh. So y- to answer his question, her question, yes, uh, is it it's a. I think it's a guy. Uh, yeah, his question. Yeah, uh, definitely the traditional switch will mm-hmm. be, be replaced. Be replaced. Uh, but definitely course. not in my lifetime. If I have 50 years more to go. Oh, so a long time. So there's no action being taken yeah, right because, now. Yeah, because, because uh, say Visa, Mastercard, they have been around 60 years, uh-huh. you know. Uh, PayPal is processing, like, uh, the last time I checked, 2.5 billion ringgit per day. Per day. Per day, right? Uh-huh. Uh, it's wow. not per month, it's not per year, it's per day. Per day. Uh, and that was, I think, three years back. Uh, uh-huh. Probably now, three, four billion. Possible. But th- So the point is, it will take time. So, so like for this guy's question, there's currently nothing is being done. Uh, you say uh, in no. the future, yes. Uh, no, they, they, they are. They are movement uh, trying to change that. They are movements, uh, okay. Especially using blockchain. Uh-huh. Uh, th- th- there's definitely uh, that. Um, but it, it will take time. Will you be incorporating like blockchain into your payment? Uh, uh, we, we don't discuss uh, future <laughs> plans. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. So I think is that it for today? Okay, it looks like that's. Hey, it thank for you, today. man, for asking. Uh, is he a friend? Um, hey, see, there's another question. Oh, cool. All right. F- 
for now bill please offers fpx i don't even know what fpx is so uh, like so, uh, so so basically fpx is a local network in malaysia that uh, connects all the online banking platform okay, it's uh, a network actually that's not true uh, mm -hmm. we partner with credit card pro uh, uh, service providers like paypal so they uh, are on a different network 2c2p yeah so so basically for card payments uh -huh. we use uh, their gateway okay so that your customers get everything under one roof Okay. Right, they get online banking. They get so you uh, have that one payment. gateway, one yeah. network for banks. So, so to, to, to cut it short, uh, for online banking for FPX, uh -huh. we process our own. But uh -huh. for cards, we let others do it. Okay, so for online right. banking. So his question is, for now, Bill please our first FPX. Whether in future, it's using credit or debit. I think actually answer. Yeah. He's using yeah. both. Yeah. He's using both actually. Uh, okay. The third one is not a question, okay. Well, yeah, I look different. I, I got a shave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's enough for today. Another question. Another Hold question. On. Let's do it. <laughs> wow, more questions are coming in. Wait. Why is it so slow? Dude, there's no more questions. I have three questions here. Wait. I think he's bringing the question. What's it like? So. Just pass it on. Ah. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Husnian Ali, will fintech take customers from traditional financial institutions? So, uh, are you stealing customers? So, now? so you see, you see, the media loves to hype like, it up. like hype it up. You know, it's uh -huh. like Malaysia versus Singapore. <laughs> you know, <laughs> do we get a free off so, day? So, 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 so let let's put. Everything in perspective, like uh -huh. like the smallest bank in Malaysia, uh -huh. Which like, is like the let's say bank? bank Rakyat, they are uh -huh. doing like two billion ringgit net, okay, per quarter, okay, right per quarter. Uh -huh. So what in a year they will do like eight, eight ten, eight, whatever possible. The the most well funded fintech in Malaysia. Uh -huh. I don't want to name okay. the, again. I, I'm not in the uh, uh -huh. uh, you know uh, that got uh, over I hundred million ringgit. Okay, uh, I think I in, know in, in funding, uh -huh. they are. I know this for a fact. They are struggling to make a profit, okay. right? So, 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 just put that in in, in perspective. perspective. So, banks. We are not. No fintech companies are going to kill the banks. Uh -huh. Again, uh, I think in my lifetime, in uh, <laughs> if I have fifty more uh, fifth, good years left, okay. right? What what happen is banks will consolidate like any other uh, industries. Uh, banks will buy the good ones, the, the tax, good fintechs to, to remain well. competitive, mm -hmm. right? Because we enhance uh, their you capabilities. Enhance, you said this earlier because, like, like us, uh. like why, or any other, like, like the number one uh, payment gateway uh. as, as well, right? Uh. Um, we all rights on on banks backbone. Actually, yes, right. And as you said, competition is for losers. Yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, you would think you would win, uh -huh. but chances are you will lose. Right, um, you know, who remembers uh, the 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 second place uh, in the hundred meter race? No, no. Who I remembers? Remember. Right? Second place. No one remembers the. Who second remembers place the, then. the winner? Usain Bolt. Yes. yes. Right. Everyone right. remembers Usain Bolt. Who's the who's the second? No I one know. does. Right. Yes. Because you know, even if you second place, it's uh -huh. it's irre irrelevant. You just have to focus on what your core competency is. Uh, Define you yourself, know, and Which then just just be are. number one for that and collaborate for the rest collaborate for the rest actually I, I watched this uh, video yesterday about blue apron they were actually making curated meal boxes and they start once they they couldn't get enough supply of meat they just started to buy over a ranch they actually there was a diversion that actually didn't support their business so you need to know who you are exactly what do you do don't divest so much yep keep growing and yes you said be number one in your industry there's a company in my and uh, 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 the same portfolio as Lopez is in uh -huh. uh, they get five times uh, funding okay right mm -hmm. uh, they closed down uh, early this year see because they, they grow too fast so right expanded too fast they grow uh, uh, too fast uh -huh. they were burning too much money mm -hmm. um, to be frank uh, my investor uh, still wonder how we survive <laughs> with that little funding that uh, we get. They were actually uh, not too sure about you then. 
<laughs> yeah, probably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, let's, let's take a <laughs> chance on this guy. Yeah. It's, it's peanuts for me anyway. Uh, Here you go. Yeah, you go and try to make it more. If not, don't lose it. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, someone who is growing too fast is also a problem. Yeah, it is. And if you don't know how to manage yeah. your growth efficiently, uh, are there any other ones, people that you know that grew too fast and died out, like burned out? A lot, a lot. A lot. Uh, the statistics is clear. Ninety mm. percent of us die the within the first three years. First three years. Within the first three years. Uh-huh. Uh Ninety percent. Like that. So, so that we are going to hit in. our our three years soon. Uh huh. And Congrats. I think I think we are, we are in the ten percent. Congrats. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, it's it's teamwork. Uh, teamwork. I have brilliant team members. Um, uh, CTO is Azumi. Mm-hmm. Uh, his team is brilliant. Um, I have a, a brilliant. I think uh, I heard Azumi team. speak at the first startup academy in Magic. I yeah, think. yeah. He, he anything he touches tends to go. Uh, so, so, so I, I, he's brilliant that way. Um, but I also see your sustainability so far lies in your principle of not touching what you don't know, yeah. and also not giving a heck of what's going to happen the next two years or yeah. three years but because again we don't have access to the, uh, to yes. the data I think it's like really if you don't have access to the data how can you make yes. uh, informed decision it's more of a dreamy state yeah like thinking like what tomorrow could be mon- raining could tomorrow could be a hot day something like that yeah. so Can't. I think no. we don't have any more new questions thanks for your time uh, Najrof no I think it's, it's off day actually he drove all the way just to meet us to share with our viewers thanks no, a lot I, for I, that. I, 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 this is a pleasure to me I love doing it um, mm-hmm. you know it, it's when, when you love doing something it's no longer work uh, uh, it's, yeah. it becomes part of you right. and one question would you be interested in sharing more uh, knowledge sharing sessions like this yeah if I have the time of course okay, of course all right, all right. I, I always believe in giving back uh, uh-huh. so many people before me have given so much of the time true, to me that's true uh, it's only fair for me to give back all right okay i think that's all for today thank you uh have a good evening friends and you want to say any last parting words um i, I just want to say again uh competition is for losers um you know collaborate Sorry. blue ocean strategy <laughs> all right thank you thank guys. you goodbye all right.